for both you guys, it was a little sloppy in the first half, a lot of turnovers throughout the night. What was going on out there uh, offensively? Um, I feel like we were just letting them speed us up a little too much in the, in the first half. Um, I feel like we didn't make all the right reads that should have been made, but um, that's something we talked about at halftime and kind of helped us uh, bring those down a little bit. You guys had that, I think it was a 10-0 run, uh, Keon, that you started with your three-pointer. I mean, what, what kind of changed there? How do you guys kind of get things rolling at that point? Um, I don't honestly even remember that run, but I, probably we locked in on defense. I know uh, I've said it before, like once our defense gets going, it just makes everything easier. So um, really just lose yourself on the defensive end and just let the offense flow. Kind of bouncing off that right after the 10-0 run, you know, South Alabama went on a run. And then after the TV timeout, Charles stepped up and made those two free throws. How big was it for him in that moment as a freshman to hit those two free throws? Uh, um, I'd just say uh, really just the confidence he has in his shot. Like I've seen good free throw shooters who, you know, don't have confidence. So that allows them to miss free throws. But, you know, he, he may miss one, you know, but he has confidence in his shot. You know, he's actually a good free throw shooter anyway. So um, if he does end up missing one, just, you know, like he has the confidence to knock down the next one. But I mean, like I said, he's a good free throw shooter though. So like him knocking down those two free throws didn't surprise me. Uh, yeah, I agree. Chuck is a great free throw shooter. Um, we put ourselves in these positions all the time in practice. So, you know, and he's shooting free throws a lot of the time to practice in these situations. So, I mean, I felt like he was ready for it and it wasn't any surprise to us. Hey guys, uh, two big uh, dunks in the second half, one by Darius Miles, one by J.D. Davis. And um, on nights like tonight when, you know, shots aren't necessarily falling, how big are those are those dunks and, you know, providing you guys with energy and momentum? Um, I, feel, I feel like they're huge for us. Um, obviously, they're electric players, above the rim guys. And obviously, it just turns our bench up. Our bench is great, always in tune with the game and always finding a way to get us going. And obviously, those, those two dunks were huge for us to get the crowd going. For either of you guys, is it almost nice to have a frustrating start like this to kind of prove to yourself that you can overcome something like this? Because these just kind of always happen regardless throughout the season. Um, I wouldn't say nice. Uh, I like to, you know, just blow everyone out. But I mean, it's definitely a, a good sign to, you know, um, when we face adversity, just to not give up, you know, and fight back. So I mean, us going through that, you know, a couple of games, I mean, just just not giving up and fighting. We see what we got as a team. Also on the line of motivating moments, so what's it like when when you see uh, Oates getting a T, uh, you know, almost having to be restrained? <laughs> what's what's that like for you guys? Um, I mean, hey, I don't think we've lost since he's got a tech since he's been here. So I mean, I feel like that's a good stat. So I mean, he's into the game. He's very passionate about the game, and I mean, obviously we don't want takes, don't want to give the other team free points, but you know, it just fires us up more to you know just double down and get stops and, and win the game. 